Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Carlson's Lab. So those of you that have been watching me for a while will realize that this is pretty much the only area that I do repairs in, at least here on video. So what I've done is I've designed another lab. It's about 98% done, something like that. And I've had many requests throughout time to make this lab in kind of an old theme and show you guys how to repair modern gear and older gear with very old test equipment. So for example, say you go to ham radio swap meet and you see an old oscilloscope on the bench for, we'll say $10 and you're looking at that saying, ah, what use is that? And you walk past it. Well, the whole idea of this new lab is to show you how valuable even this really old test gear is. I'm going to show you how to repair very modern stuff with extremely old equipment and get extremely good results. So that's the whole idea of this lab. Basically just to have fun. We're going to go in there. We're going to experiment with old stuff, new stuff. There's a lot of bench space in there. I have some extremely big equipment that I have to put on benches to show you guys. We're going to go through some oscilloscopes that make these things look small. So uh, some very interesting equipment at any rate enough of my talking, let's go take a look at that new lab and I'll explain a little bit more when I'm in there. Okay, let's go take a look around. Pardon the mic. This is the mic that's just on the camera itself. Definitely not the quality of the other microphone, that's for sure. So this is where I normally have the camera. The back side of the camera is up against the gates there and it's pointing at the bench. So this is the stuff that's out of the shot that you don't normally see. A bunch of receivers and pan adapters with the orange screens here. And for those of you that have been watching me for a while, you'll recognize the whiteboard and all the parts pins and everything like that. But that's not exciting. This is the exciting stuff. This is the new lab here. Again, this is built with that old time theme. This is the new bench space here. And these are all projects that we're going to fix together and populate the bench. So we're going to fix the test gear that's going to fix other things. Lots of projects here. You probably recognize this. This is the 555 from an earlier video. Still haven't done an alignment on it. That's a really rare device there, the Type 661. This is the 556. Basically the 556 is a self-contained 555. The 555 had an external power supply. So, so does the 551 here. So what I'll do is I'll put the camera on a tripod so I can steady things up and we'll take a slow sweep of the projects here. The equipment that you've seen here in lab number two really is just a small portion of the equipment that we're going to be going through. And that's right, I did say small portion. I have a lot more equipment, a lot of it is modern as well. So we'll be taking a look at solid state stuff, vacuum tube gear, stuff with point to point wiring, and we'll even be doing surface mount work. So there's a lot of neat stuff ahead. The reason that you see so much older gear in lab two here is because, well, that's the theme of this lab, right? This is the old time workbench. So there's a lot of really interesting things in the shelving units that you see here. Receivers, transmitters, oscilloscopes, pan scopes, amplifiers, test gear, all sorts of very interesting stuff. And each one of these pieces of equipment have their own story to tell. We get to see what the engineers were thinking when they designed this stuff and you know, all the neat little innovations as, you know, time went on. So lots of really interesting stuff here. And much more equipment over here to go through as well. So, as you see here, there's a lot of really rare equipment in this area over here. This pan scope right over here is very rare. Neat old Ferris signal generator right on the top over here. Receiver out of a B29, not so incredibly rare, but still neat. SX28As and all sorts of very interesting things. SX28 over there, I should say. There's an A in the other room. There's another SX28 down here that we're going to be taking a look at as well. About the center of the shot right there. There's a lot of really neat restorations. So this is just some of the gear. 
again, a very small portion of what we're going to be doing. And this is the new bench right here. Closer look at the new bench. And the fixtures on the ceiling. What I'll do is I'll just bump down the brightness here. Get a better look at the fixtures and the bulbs. So as you see, it really has that old theme to it. The older fixtures and the wiring that you see going to that little junction box right in the back, right behind the center lamp there. That's all, it's cloth wiring, but it's modern stuff. So it's basically, you know, modern wiring with a, a cloth covering. So interesting stuff, really gives it that old time feel. And no, I wouldn't be crazy enough to use original cloth wiring. So this is all modern, up-to-date stuff. I'll just brighten things up here a little bit. So lots of area to work on the bench here. So this bench took quite a while to put together. So it's stained wood. Put five coats of polyurethane on this. So it's very rugged. Now, whenever I put anything on this bench, at any rate, I always have a you know rubber mat or something so that I don't scratch the, the urethane up, but it is a really tough finish. The reason that I did coat it and stain it, really, you know, the wood itself is so incredibly bright, this kind of bumps it down, and it gives it that older look as well. If you don't stain wood and you use it as a workbench, you know, you get contact cleaner on it, it stains it, and you know, if you have a you know sponge for your soldering iron and it spills water, it makes a stain in it. You know the bench over time ends up getting very ugly. So by putting urethane on it, it just you know pretty much keeps it looking good all the time. Very neat antenna project right there that we'll be building together here in the future. I'm going to put another one together. That is a lot of Litz wire. Works very very well. And back to the scopes here again. So lots of neat projects coming up here. And that is a very quick view of the new work area. So very soon we'll be populating this bench with a lot of neat older gear. And we'll do this together. So we'll choose some of the stuff off the shelves and stuff that we think would be valid on the bench. And we'll go through it, fix it, and we'll use that gear to fix other gear. So we'll use that to fix modern stuff as well. So it should be a lot of fun. All right, let's take a look behind the scenes here. Here we go. So this is a tube tester here that we'll be testing some tubes on. And the stuff back here is basically projects. It's a little bit dark back here. I don't have a light. I'm going to end up adding a light back here as well. Over here is a little bit better lit. You can see there's many more projects on this side here as well. And this here is basically all vacuum tubes. The ones in the bins here are sorted. The ones in the boxes that you see here aren't so sorted. But I have a pretty good memory and I can recall where most of them are. Those are all 12AX7s and 12AU7s. And all sorts of different tubes here. Lots of 6L6s and 6SN7s, 6SL7s. Lots of rectifiers and all sorts of different types of vacuum tubes here. So basically these are all just vacuum tubes all back through here. Lots and lots of stuff. Lots of very large transmitting tubes on the bottom there and some way up on the top here. Lots of capacitors. Lots and lots of tubes everywhere. So that's a look at the back area here. Many of the projects coming up here. Some of the receivers. There's even some test gear. Here's some big transmitters down here. 
Again, the lighting isn't so good back here, but it will be pretty quick. Again, you know, about 98% finished rate. And go here, see if I can brighten this up just a little bit without making it too incredibly noisy. So lots of DX100s. There's three DX100s. It's a nice spectrum analyzer here that I'm going to design a completely different active probe for. And we'll do that together. VHF amplifier. And wiring and parts and pieces and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, quick run back here. More tubes back up in here and speakers. And there's some surface mount components and stuff at the top here. Basically just storage and things like that. Those caddies are all full of vacuum tubes. So so all stuff for future projects that we're going to be repairing together, designing and doing all sorts of stuff. It's definitely nice to be behind this vacuum tube microphone again. Thanks for stopping by the lab today. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the new lab. If you did, you can let me know by giving me a big thumbs up and hang around. There'll be many repairs, modifications, designs, and all sorts of interesting things happening in this new lab very soon. If you're interested in taking your electronics knowledge to the next level, you might want to check out my ongoing electronics course on Patreon. I'll have the link just below this video in the description. Just click on the link and it'll take you right there. Check out the community section while you're there. There's lots of people sharing their projects there as well. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.